Right, so the first speaker we were working on is now all back together. And I will now give this a proper measure up, so all the screws are nice and tight and everything. Um, the covers aren't on them because I'm going to recloth those. Um, but uh, yeah, this is now all back together and should be pretty much perfect. So time to crack on with the other one. Um, David has asked me to flatten these back and oil them and they do need it. Uh, the more I look at them, the more, yeah, it's just not gonna hurt to give them a gentle sand and then to re-oil them up. The front and back baffle, black on that is lovely. Just like um, a satin black that's on there that was original. So yeah, obviously this will come off again when I fit the new um, covers when I recloth them. But uh, yeah, I will sand that back. And if you look carefully, you can see where this is a veneer and this is a molding. You can see it here as well. And obviously with time that's become more obvious. So hopefully when we flatten this off and then re-oil it, it will disappear a bit more, but uh, yeah. Lovely so speakers. these uh, screws holding on the stands are a bit gnarled up and they're not in there properly. So um, I think when I put all this back together, I will um, pilot drill these and put some new black Japan screws in there. Just to tidy that up a bit. Cool. <clears throat> Got myself a creme brulee latte is always a winner um, right okay so this is the other speaker and yeah um, so we've got the the loose HF 1300 and one of the reasons why it's loose is it's missed it's not got the green felt that goes around it that's been removed so that normally seals it in there. So we will take this out and redo it. Normally the lead wires are soldered on like this or the cables are soldered on like this, um, just inside. And on this, um, if I carefully turn it round, if you remember, I don't know if you can see that okay. Nope. Right, let's do it like that. Um, we've got a new piece of white wire added to the HF terminals on the crossover and then the lead wires coming off have been kind of just twisted round and then with the HF 2000 as well we just had a wire our negative twisted round a white wire and our brown twisted round a purple wire so we need to sort this one out a reasonable amount oops sorry so I'm going to take this out this looks like someone's been at it before uh, there's glue residue all around it but David has provided another which looks to be immaculate um, so I'll test this my preference would be to put this in because I think this has been mucked around with it's also not straight, so I think this has been out. Um, the other thing is the surround for the woofer. Doesn't look original to me. Um, and I, I might be wrong, that looks like it's been painted because it's also on the surround unless it was doped afterwards but I don't remember seeing yeah looking at the other one hang on a sec yeah I don't know I think they were doped afterwards this one's just not been done very neatly so yeah okay maybe that's okay it's nice and free there's no tears or rips or anything so yeah I think really we've got to just take these tweeters out and um Change that one, test them both as well. Um, take the crossover out, do all the measuring again, 
and go from there. So uh, you've seen me strip the first one down. I'm not going to bore you doing exactly the same thing again. I'm going to strip this completely down off camera and then test everything again. Right, okay, so I've taken our super tweeter board out of the second speaker, tested all the components, absolutely fine. So no issues, same values as we got on the, the other one. So yeah, very pleased. And also with this as well, same values on all the inductors, resistors, our little mallard caps. Um, they're all measuring exactly the same as the other and they're 1.5 microfarad each. So in parallel three, so I'm getting like 2.9, 2.8, 2.9. Absolutely fine. I don't want to unsolder these, like I mentioned in the first video, and disturb them. Um, but yeah, happy with it all. Very good as well. I've, um, as best I can, tested the auto transformer, all the windings, the space between them, resistance wise, and yep, pretty happy with that. So holding up well, really. Right, so what I want to do is have a look at these drivers that we've got. So I'm just going to adjust the camera a bit. Right, so these are the two I've taken out. Now this one I think has been re-glued. Had a, maybe a new diaphragm, I don't know. Might not be. Um, but let's just give them a quick test. Now the other one measured at 4.4. <clears throat> yep. 4.4, exactly the same. Okay, so and you can see that they've got the wrong colour lead wires on them. But that's, yeah, so the original wires should come through and be soldered through. So we can clean them off and redo that, because I have measured this speaker, remember, and it wasn't too bad. So this is the HF 1300. You see our lead wire has been pinched there. So the connections, are, you take this plate off, the connections are made just behind. So let's take some of this insulation off, which is not in the best of conditions. Two point nine. Uh, sorry, twelve point nine was what I got on the other because these are a sixteen ohm unit impedance wise. Eleven point four. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's okay. Right. Let me just grab the other one. So I'd say this is how it should be. In terms of the cables connected to it obviously the front plate is different but that's an easy swap over it's just this bezel that's um, over the whole thing so let's take a look at this one right so this one's open circuit so that's obviously why it's been replaced yeah, okay. Assuming this was the original one, I don't know. Right. Let's take the front off this one. There's a lot of muck on that. Uh. 
That's uh, covered in crap. I do find these fairly forgiving though, these tweeters. Hence why I'm doing this. Right, so our connection should be made just in those pockets there and then our cover goes back on it so there's quite a void there you can see before these all these packing pieces go on there's quite a lot there um, right okay so what I'm gonna do is get some flex Let's use the cable off the other one because it's testing open circuit, so that's no good anyway. So, yeah, repair this very, very carefully. Right. So I leave a bit of the original lead wire on there to soak away some of the heat. But yeah, and to strip the insulation, melt it off. So I don't want to pull on this at all. All right, let's test that. Yep, all good. Right, okay. Excellent. Well, certainly sounds clean to the ear. I will obviously measure these again afterwards. So, yeah, we'll put this back together carefully. And uh, I think we're there. They're quite fiddly to get back together, these things. Do, 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 Right, that's all back together now. Excellent. Right, pretty good. So the other thing is this felt should also be around this. I've got a feeling it's stuck to the wood and then this slides through we go and have a look at the other and double check yeah it was and obviously it's got this shape to it already so that was stuck to the the wood round like that and our tweeter slides up inside it so right um yeah cool happy with everything on this so time to get it back together right 
so let's nail this one back together then. In order to get this in, I'm going to have to take this out. No biggie. the front of that. Yep, all good. So you can only get this screw in a certain amount, don't overdo it. When you get there, use the locking nut. Get a spanner on that. That's a bit more like it. Right. I just want to test these again because we did, it was a bit tricky to get in there. Hopefully, I haven't pulled the lead wires or anything. Yeah, perfect. Good, good, good. Uh, right, so next what I want to do is clip these off, get them through the front, and then we need to solder those back onto our HF2000 properly. What you do is desolder the old cables and then we can poke the new ones through and solder them up. Right. So that's all back in. Still some stick left on the sticky pad. Good. So we've got our HF2000 back in properly, soldered up properly. Our 
HF1300. Um, proper wire on it, same as it had originally. So we get these ends stripped off and then we can put in the um, crossovers again, which are all tested and all good. There's a date on the back of this woofer, which I wish I could read, 30th of August, and then nothing. Uh, yeah, that would just be quite interesting to, um, to know, really. Um, yeah, someone commented on the wire that's uh, used in these. It's what it was originally, mate. Um, and it's what we're retaining. I'm not doing any form of upgrade to these. These aren't, like I said in the first video, it's not that type of speaker. Um, everyone has their own views on, on these things, but as far as I'm concerned, this with a number of other speakers is history. Um, we got where we are today because of speakers like this um, and the effort that went into getting a speaker like this to do what it does um, yeah it was quite extreme really so no my um, my view maybe it's just because I'm older is these get left alone they get fixed um, using original parts if you can um, but they don't get much around with they just get maintained and kept alive so there we go it can be tricky getting that back in especially putting those um, over the screws and then not slipping off um, what I tend to do is just use a slither of insulation tape just around the screw and then slide the um, spacers not inserts, spacers um, back over and it just retains them a little bit Lovely. I'll dress that back in under there. That in there. Right. You have more of a chance of getting the um, spaces to stay put um, with this. If you can get that, get them about right. And get that over the top without moving it too much. Shouldn't have had that other coffee because it's giving me the shakes. <laughs> Made sense at the time.
Should have been a surgeon. Should have been a surgeon. Right, okay, so that's everything soldered back in. Lovely jubbly. Yeah, sweet. Okay, I'll stick the back of uh, the back on it again, reconnect it up, um, and then they're ready for testing. Right, so these are getting the lightest sand possible. <laughs> um, I've just done the bottom, come up perfectly. I have my sander with my hoover attached to the back of it. Uh, it starts and stops when I um, turn this on, which is great. So I don't have to worry about any dust flying around, any dust getting on the drivers or anything. I can simply go over it with a 360 pad and just ever so lightly sand it back. Um, I mean, the sides are pretty good. There's a few marks, but um, in the tops are the main things. The, you know, flower pot stains, that sort of thing that you always get. That's it, that's all I want to do. Um, I don't want to go any more intense than that at all. I mean, that is beautiful. And as you'll see, obviously we're going to oil this, but when we <coughs> clean the panel up, then, uh, yeah, the gloss is back. Right, hopefully you can see that all right. So that's had a mega quick sand and just one coat of Danish oil. Um, Danish oil is kind of my preferred liquid for this sort of thing and that has come up lovely so that's just one coat so obviously I'll let that sink in and then I probably won't give it a second or third coat until I've got the covers done and got those back on um, but yeah that's all it needed just a light sand um, and that's got rid of stains like this all these little scratches and things like that um, nothing major nothing too crazy just a light sand and uh, yeah that's woken those up completely so if I can find the right cloth for the covers we'll be looking pretty brand new right okay that's going to wrap this video up and Part three will be um, the cloth and a final measure up and then we'll have a damn good listen because um, I love it when I get speakers like this in and get time to enjoy them as well. And that's what it's all about. Right, cheers guys. Catch you soon. So that's the other one. First coat of oil, sanded back. The top was actually pretty bad on that but I've managed to get pretty much all of the staining and scratches out so yeah pretty damn good <laughs>